I've always had an interest in animals, and it's one thing that's great. With what, and I keep saying it. See, my my daughter Sienna just loves animals too. Every time I says I say it, she gets excited. So she I, ever since the time I was a little kid, yes, animals. I also spent a lot of time going to zoos. That was always my favorite place to go. Hi, I'm Paige Morabito. I'm from the class of 2002, and I am a part-time naturalist at Zoo America. I was full-time at uh, Maryland Zoo in Baltimore. I worked there for six years. It came to a point when my husband and I decided we wanted to start having starting a family. And with having kids, I thought it'd be a lot better to work a lot more local. Primarily our job is taking care of the animals on a day-to-day basis. So feeding, cleaning, um, making sure that they're mentally stimulated, um, any sort of medical issues, making sure they're checking on them every day, making sure that they look healthy, helping with the vets when they come um, to do um, examinations on the animals. And also just a lot of informal interactions with the guests. And you can see one poking its head. That's one of the babies that were born this year. Oh, so he's just a little bit smaller than the other one. Well, they right, have he can holes. Find, yeah. He can find them. The reason why I started looking at FNM is because it was one of the few places I could find that had an animal behavior major. It was a place where, unlike a larger university, where you could pretty much straight off the bat just start volunteering, work with, re with researchers, with the professors right away on projects. My second choice, they just didn't give that kind of personal touch that Franklin Marshall did. In some ways, being a zookeeper, you, you almost have to have almost this kind of attitude that a physician might. There, there definitely are some times that are harder and you can't get too attached. But it can be difficult, particularly towards, towards the end when you know you're getting close to that time where you're going to have to say goodbye to the animal. It's, it's just a fact of life. Look outside, there's a kitty cat. Is a kitty cat? Hi. 